the two sides in the ambulance dispute are to meet for peace talks later today, Friday. The unions had said the ban on all but emergency calls would spread to the whole country. The chief union negotiator, Roger Poole, was handed an invitation from the Department of Health, apparently dropping the precondition that the emergency service must be back to normal before talks could take place. Later he spoke to ITN of his hopes for a deal. I don't think it should take us more than about 48 hours, quite frankly, providing there's goodwill on both sides to reach an agreement. If that were the case, we would have an agreement by the end of the weekend. We have been talking about more money this year. Um, that's more money across the board, on top of the 6.5%. We're also talking about really substantial, serious money that we would like to put the way of the crews who have special training. Three Chelsea football fans who've spent more than two years in jail had their convictions for plotting violence quashed in the appeal court. Five conspiracy cases against London fans have collapsed over the last two years. The three fans were alleged to have been members of the notorious Chelsea Headhunters, a 50-strong gang responsible for outbreaks of vicious soccer violence. In November 1985, detectives at Fulham decided to infiltrate the gang, drinking with the supporters in an effort to find the organisers. They identified one alleged ringleader in Terence Last, a filing clerk with a firm of city solicitors. Following dawn raids and the discovery of weapons, Last and two others were brought to trial. In sentencing them, Judge George Schindler condemned the men as ruthless, violent and nasty. But a Metropolitan Police handwriting expert has cast doubt on the evidence at the appeal court hearing. Lord Lane said the new evidence demonstrated it was highly probable the statements were not written by the officers on the day they were said to have been written. He said these statements are unreliable and the creditworthiness of the officers involved in the making of them had to be destroyed. He said the jury's verdicts had to be regarded as unsatisfactory. East Germany's leader Egon Krenz has told 27 Old Guard communists to resign from Parliament. They include the former ruler Erich Honecker and his wife. A new cabinet, including 11 non-communists, is expected to be approved by the Parliament later today. That's all for now. More news later.